Hi guys, thank you for watching this video. Today we will show you how to canvas paint using acrylic paint, as well as some helpful tips on how to hold your brush, how to blend colors, and how to mix colors. So go grab your supplies and let's paint. Hi guys, welcome to A Sprinkle of Fun. My name is Kimberly, and today we're going to be painting the Sunset Wine Canvas. And for this canvas, you're going to need the colors black, white, yellow, red, and orange. You will also need the two brushes that came with your kit, as well as paper towel and a cup of water. All right, so to start this painting, we're going to use our big brush. Make sure it's nice and dry. And we're going to start with white. And the center of your canvas, we're just going to be making a white circle. And everything we do with this canvas today is going to be in a circular motion for the whole background, which is going to be the sunset. All your painting for this sunset is going to be done in circle. And we're also going to be doing a lot of blending, which I'm going to show you how to do. So once we have our white circle, we're just going to wipe the paintbrush just a little bit on the paper towel. So you're still going to have some white on your brush, that's fine. We're then going to take some yellow and we're going to go around that white circle. And as we go around, we're going to make that circle in the center a little smaller. and start bringing it out to make bigger. And we wanna make sure that circle in the middle is as round as we can get it. And now you're going to wipe your brush on your paper towel. Remember, we're not cleaning it yet, just wiping it. We're going to do the same thing with orange. Going in a circular motion around the yellow. and we're gonna wipe it off. Now you can see here that we have a very drastic change going from yellow to orange. We wanna blend that a little better so that it looks more like yellow blending into the color orange. So to do that, you're just gonna wipe your brush and we're gonna go back to the yellow, very little bit. And right between the yellow and the orange, we're going to add a yellow line. And that's going to help blend the colors together so it doesn't have such a drastic look. So now you'll have white, yellow going into orange, orange. And you can wipe your brush again. And now we're going to pick up red and same thing. red circle around the orange circle. And we're going to have that same problem again. Orange going into the red, we need to blend that together. So we're going to wipe the brush, 
pick up orange and right between the orange and red, same thing. We're just going to add that one line going around and that will help blend our orange going into red. And now we should have a nice blend of white going into yellow, going into orange, red, getting darker as we go out. And now the last step of our sunset, we're going to fill in the rest of this canvas with just the red. However, we're going to keep in mind that we're going in a circle motion. So you basically just want to make your red circle bigger and bigger as we go around. And just stay on the red. We don't want to hit that orange. We're going to lose that orange blend effect and we don't want to lose that. everything I'm doing is keeping the brush in that circle motion. Should not see any white spots now. And we don't want to see any brush marks either. So in order for that to happen, you're going to have to start at one end of the canvas and do not take off your brush till you get to the other end. Now once your sunset is dry, you will not be able to go back and fix anything because of the way we blended. So you want to make sure everything is filled in because again, once it's dry, that's it. And once we're satisfied with our sunset, we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. In the meantime, we can do the outside of the canvas, the edges, and we can paint those red. But remember, we're done with the center of the canvas here. That needs to dry before we can move on to the next step. dry and I would let that dry before we do the bottom and once it's dry you can flip the canvas upside down and do the bottom of the canvas as well. In the meantime we can clean our brush and dry it off.
and you can put that brush aside. We're going to be using the small brush for the next part, which is going to be the wine glass. Uh, we cannot do that part until this is completely dry. All right, so we are ready for part two, which is going to be the wine glass and the palm tree. And for this part, we're going to use our small brush, which is a flat brush, flat square. And you just want to squeeze it together, make sure it's nice and flat. We're going to take black. And you'll notice as I'm taking the black, I'm not just scooping it up or digging it in there. I'm pressing down each side. This is going to keep the brush flat so we can get a nice thin line for the wine glass. And for the wine glass, we're going to make a U right around our sunset. And then once we have that U, we can make that line a little more solid. And you'll also notice that I'm using my pinky to lean on the canvas to keep my hand still as I'm bringing the brush down. So you get a nice straight line going down. And then right in the center of the bottom of your U, we're going to have one line coming down. And we're going to make that line a little thicker. And make sure the sides are straight before we fill in. Now on each side of the wine glass on the bottom, we want to have a little bit of a curve. So on each side, we're just going to go about halfway from the edge to the center. And we're just going to curve a line coming down. And you want to make sure both sides are equal before you fill them in. And now we're going to fill in the glass a little higher with the black. So we're going to go about halfway. Look at our glass, find the halfway point, and then half of that. We want a quarter of the glass filled in with the black. So once we see where that quarter is, same thing. One line going right across. And fill it in. And then you could just wipe the small brush on the paper towel because we're going to be using the black again. Now we're going to start adding the palm tree. But before we do that, we want to connect the top of the glass so we can see exactly where the palm tree is going to go. So we're just going to connect these two lines straight across.
And then for the palm tree, we don't want to go all the way to the top because that's where the palms are going to be. We want to leave room for the leaves on top here. So where the sun is, just a little higher, that's going to be the top of the palm, the top of the palm tree. And we don't want a straight line, we want to give it a little bit of a curve. And you'll notice the top of the line is a little thinner and it gets thicker as it goes down. And still doing the same thing, pushing down, making sure the brush is flat. I'm going to add some little branches. And we're staying within the glass. We are not going outside the glass. Now for the leaves of our palms, I'm going to show you guys how to do that using the back of this plate. So you can see we have five stems coming off the top of our palm. And same thing, we're going to push down with the brush, make sure it's nice and flat. And we're going to go to the bottom half, the bottom of our stem, and we're just going to make some lines coming out all the way to the tip of the end. And stop, and then you're going to go back and do the top of that line. Same thing, lines coming out, and stop. So again, we'll start at the top, lines coming down to the end and then go back and this is going to give it a very feathery look which is what we're looking for and we're going to do that with each stem and we're going to do that with all five of our stems going around our palm tree so again, push the brush down nice and flat. And we don't want too much paint on the brush. The more dry it is, the better, because that'll give it a better feathery look. And your palms will look more realistic. Again, we're staying inside this glass. And there we have our palms. And now we're using the same brush, same color. We're going to make our water. So that's where we're going to go just under the sun. One line right across. And then we're going to add some little waves in there. And then you can clean the brush. Now for the last part, before we start adding the white, we're going to add the white 
to give it the glass look, the reflective glass look. Before we do that, you have to make sure all your black is completely dry. So you just want to give that a few minutes and make sure that it's completely dry. Otherwise, when we go over our palm tree, we're going to start dragging that black down and we don't want to do that. We want to have a solid white look. So you're just going to give that a minute to dry. Again, make sure your brush is dry. Squeeze together, make sure it'll be nice and flat. And we're going to take white. I'm going to start with the outside of the glass first. Just a very thin line. And we don't want to completely cover the black. And we're going to go around the whole glass, including the top. And now for that reflection glass look. We're not gonna scoop up the white. We don't want too much white on the brush. It's almost as if we were painting with the white for a long time and we're starting to run out, but we're not going to pick up more paint. So we just want a very little bit of the white on the brush you can see here. And we're gonna start on this side. We're gonna make one line going down right over the tree. And then same thing here on the side. And you can see how I curved the top here a little bit, just to give it more of that glass look. Alright guys, so that's it. We completed our sunset canvas, wine glass canvas. And don't forget to turn your canvas upside down to do the bottom half that we didn't get before. And then if you would like to sign your canvas, you can do that with your brush. Or when it's completely dry, you can take a black Sharpie and do that as well. And there we have Sunset Canvas. We hope you guys had fun painting with us today. For more information on how to host your own private paint event, you guys can go to asprinkleoffun.com. Don't forget to share your artwork with us at Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we hope to see you guys next time.